Hey y'all, welcome back to Deuce on the Diamond. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Orange Bloods Texas YouTube channel. You have the Red River Showdown today, but you are no rookie to this. You know, in fact, you're one of the old heads now. Hey, yeah. to, um, but how is this energy this year different? Um, I just think we're out there uh, excited to play the number one team in the country right now and some of the best athletes out there. So I think just our young ones are really excited for this opportunity and just to experience it as I did as a freshman and everything. So, but I feel like as a veteran, um, our senior class is ready to take one from them this year and we know that we can do it. So we're going to uh, lead our team to the best we can. And how is the energy different this year, even from just Coach White, maybe some of the other you know, seniors that you were just telling me about, is it different? Uh, kind of. I would say uh, our practices this week have been a lot more intense and <laughs> just knowing that we're going up against one of the best teams. So we really focused in on practice this week. Speaking of practice, I had Lauren yesterday and as soon as I saw her, she was just like, I am exhausted. She yeah. was like, it's basically hell week in a way because, you know, you guys are about to play the number one team, Oklahoma. Tell me about the scrimmage that you guys had yesterday at practice. Yeah, so basically our pitchers just threw maybe two innings each. Yeah. And we were just, um, us just competing since we had that weekend off. We're just uh, glad to be back in the box and in the circle doing live at bats and seeing like a full wind up here and there. So, yeah, it was basically good for us to just get back out there and play like a real game before the actual thing. And what would you say the team's mentality is? I think our mentality is just no weakness. Just go out there and have that attitude that we can beat anybody. And we don't care what the name says across the chest. Like we'll still go toe to toe with any team out there. So just no weakness, no fear. Just going out there and giving it the best we can. Love that. I get so motivated by that. <laughs> I always <laughs> love seeing Oklahoma lose. But do you all gain motivation from seeing baseball sweep OU? I'm sure I think they had them either last week or two weeks ago. Does the softball team kind of gain motivation from that? Um, kind of. Um, I don't really watch baseball that much, but. I, yeah, that's so <laughs> crazy to me. Just because track, it's like the men's team is not different. Yeah. So then even with like basketball, I'll talk to, you know, Rory on the basketball team and I'll talk to Dylan on the men's basketball team. I'm just kind of like, do y'all talk? And they're just like, no. Yeah. <laughs> that blows my mind. <laughs> A little bit because I don't I don't really get it. <laughs> and I think but, like base, I think baseball is a lot slower too than softball. So really? if someone sits down and watch a softball game, it's way faster. And I feel like you'll never go back to baseball ever again. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you think that is? I didn't know that. Yeah, I just think the games are really long in baseball and softball is just more fast speed, more bunts in the game, like a lot more steals, things like that. So a lot quicker. <laughs> Okay. And what makes OU softball such a powerful team? Why are they the number one team? I think definitely their offense. Um, they have probably one of the top offenses right now. And just like the home runs that they're hitting and they're a very like powerful team right now as far as their offense. So I think if we keep them off balance as far as that, like with our pitching and everything, I feel like we'll have a chance to knock them down, hopefully take one or two from them in the series. And would you know any of their weaknesses? Um, I would say their weakness, uh, maybe chasing pitches. So like I said, just keeping them off balance, whether that's changing speeds or locations, things like that, and seeing if they'll chase and uh, kind of try to expand the zone a little bit. Any personal goals that you have for this game? Because you are basically just on like an uphill. Yeah. You know, where each game, Janae just keeps getting better and better. So any personal goals? Um. Not really, kind of just what you said, just keep going uphill uh, through this game as well. Just getting my heads here and there and just hopefully leading the offense uh, to get us started right away during the game. And what is coach really just like hammering into you guys this week? I think mainly our attitude and effort. He's saying that's, oh, that's the only thing that we can control out there is our attitude and effort. We can't control errors or home runs that are hit we can't control that once it leaves our hands like it's it's gone whether it, once it hits the bat it's gone so uh just mainly controlling what we can control and staying within ourselves and not trying to make this moment bigger than what it is so just basically just doing what we do as texas softball okay 
So controlling your attitudes and efforts. What does that necessarily consist of? Okay, you said controlling okay. the things that you can't control. Yeah. What else? Like in terms of actually playing, is it things that he has seen before? Like, you know, if you guys make a mistake, put it to the back of your head, like quick, fast, and in a hurry and move on? Or is it just things that he wants to prevent from happening? I would say once, like, because in the past games, in our past games, we, once we made an error, things tend to, like, snowball. We have a hard time of, like, stopping the snowball. Yeah. I think when he says that, that's what he means about, like, attitude and effort. Like, just okay. making sure that we're picking one another up after – we do have those rough times, just making sure that we're quick to pick each other up and know that it's just a normal game, no matter who's across the field. Okay. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. You know, I always love a good showdown. Yeah. And y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Deuce on the Diamond.